Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 16 and in this video we're going to take a look at loops, in particular the while loop. <laughs> Alright then guys, so I'm still in this test.js file over here and we're going to take a look at this while loop. Now, a while loop is just another control flow system, much like the if statement. So we can execute certain code sections dependent on a condition. All right, so let's first of all make a variable and we'll call this age and we'll set this age equal to five. Now a while loop uses the keyword of while and then we use our parenthesis to form the condition bracket much like we would in an if statement and then we have our curly braces for the code block. So we put our condition right near here and essentially what this does is say while this condition is true, always execute this code. So it will do it once. If this condition is true, it will execute the code, come to the end, and then it will go back to the top. And if this condition is still true, it will execute again, get to the end, back to the top. And while this condition is true, it will always keep looping around like this. So at some point, we need to make sure that the condition is false so that it doesn't always go around in a loop and is an infinity loop or an infinite loop. Okay, that will crash your computer. So I'll show you that in a second. But for now, let's make a condition. And we'll say while age is less than 10, then we want to say um, let's document, let's do a console. In fact, console.log your age is less than 10. All right. And then what we'll do, well, that says condole. We don't want to condole anything. We want to console.log. And then at the end, we'll do a document dot write saying you are now over 10. All right, so what we're doing here is saying that while age is less than 10, which it is, it's five, so this is true, we're going to console.log, your age is less than 10, and currently this would be an infinite loop because there's no change to age. Okay, so we don't want that because that would cause the computer to crash. We want to change this age variable at some point so that it becomes over 10 and then this becomes false so we can break out of the loop and then go down here to this line. So at the end of each console.log, I'm going to say age plus plus. And remember that is the increment um, operator. So that's going to add one to the age each time this while loop runs. So it's going to start off with age being 5, which is less than 10, so that's going to be true. It's going to console log this message. Then it's going to add 1 to age, which is 6. Then it's going to come to the bottom, go back up here. While age is still less than 10, which it is, it's 6, it's going to carry on going. And it's going to add 1, so it becomes 7, then 8, then 9. Then when it gets to 10, 10 is not less than 10. So it's not going to execute this. And we're going to break out of the loop. And we're going to come down here and then write this to the document. You are now over 10. So before we do anything, let's right click over here in the document and inspect element. I'm going to bring our console up and we can see the console log messages there. So let's save this and bring this over here and refresh. And then you can see that five times, that's what this little number here says. It says your age is less than 10. And then after that, it says you are now over 10. All right. So that is a while loop, my friends, the basics of it at least. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, if you enjoyed these videos, please like, share, or subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to look at four loops.